American Beer TV. We're doing a quick homebrew Wednesday video. I have one uh, beer left that I haven't brought to you guys, um, and uh, I fucked up on this one. I think. What is it? Well, it's supposed to be a beer to guard, and it's supposed to be a bourbon barrel aged beer to guard. Um, although there's two problems with it. One, uh, I was supposed to use an ounce of roasted malt to give it a little bit of color. And I misread my grain bill when I went in to order it, and I used a pound. And so it is fucking black as night. It is really dark. So that's one mistake. And what then strain did you use? The beer to guard yeast strain. Oh, okay. And then the second thing I did is I, well, when I aged this for 10 months, okay. when I aged this for 10 months on uh, oak chips that I soaked in bourbon barrels, um, it or soaked in, I didn't soak it, bourbon. And <laughs> He's then got I'm bourbon barrels lined yeah. up in his backyard. I wish. Rich guy. Um, and then um, and then it wouldn't carbonate. After 10 months in there, I think all the yeast dropped out. Dead. Just totally will not carbonate. So it's flatter and fucking flat. But either that or this is one of their stouts. But let's give it a shot. No, no, it's flat. Yeah. Well, it's not as black as a stout. You can kind of smell through it. It's like a... Yeah, this is it. Smell it. Bourbon. So it's about... Um, it's right under 10%. Oh. It's about 9... Um, and... Uh, it has some, like, wine character. It's very viscous, too. Or, it's got some wine qualities to yeah. those. It's definitely got, you know, which which is Sweetness. traditional for kind of like that, that French beer for keeping. Yeah. You know, um, I was reading a lot about how they do it, and it, it's really designed to be aged. And this has... this. When did been, you brew this? Uh, that was a solid year. So about, um, fuck, September of... 2000, uh, 2010? Mm. So it's so, aged. Yeah, so it's over a year old. It smells that, nice. Let's drink it. Yeah, cheers. Cool. Wow. Actually, uh, you know, even though it's flat, it got bourbon. Yeah. Caramelness. It's not that roasted, actually. It's, no. I mean, for putting it way too much. Up. Yeah. Yeah, it's got the roasted flavor, but it's not... It's more like a, it's like a brown. Yeah. Like a bourbon barrel aged brown. And it has a, it has a creaminess almost. Yeah, it has that and it has like, it's kind of this hybrid between like an American brown and like a Belgian, like old ale of some sort, you know? It would be, I, you know, I guess that's like a French old ale beer yeah. guard, right? So. Yeah, kind of. Well, some of the beer guards, that's one of the things I've seen some beer guards that are brown. I've seen some beer guards that are really malty. I've seen some beer guards that are really light and golden. Mm -hmm. So beer to guard is yeah, one of those most things of the that beer are kind of weird. That I've come across have been lighter, not yeah. really super pale, but on the lighter right. side. Right. I was, what I was going for was kind of a, a, a brown malt bomb, uh, kind of, yeah, kind of like a, a, a Belgian a French. Well, old I did you put I, that I'd, I'd have to go look it up. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but, um, yeah, it's not real hoppy. It has that no. nice little bourbon finish to it. The wood comes through a little bit. Yeah. The nose is nice. It's, it's cool. It tastes like a... To me, it tastes like a... Like a, like a funky English old ale, kind of. It doesn't yeah, really taste like barrel, a Belgian yeah. or a French style. Right. But, uh, yeah. And there's, there yeah, is some... Like there a, is some like an English esters barley on. wine, kind of. Like yeah. those uh, Thomas Hardy, those little bottles. Or like... Uh, mm -hmm. Some of the young stuff like that, some of that, because those beers, I mean, American barley wines are always really hoppy, but yeah. you know, the English style ones aren't typically that hoppy. They just have that little bit of that dried fruit. Right, I get that, that dried fruit, some of the esters mm -hmm. in there. I um, think I might be getting a little bit of oxidization on there, little touch of cardboard in the nose, a little bit. But that's why I. But think that's also understandable because I bottled this three times. Yeah. I I bottled it. Wouldn't carbonate, it's dumped it. Worse. Yeah, dumped yeah. it, rebottled yeah, it, dumped it again, rebottled it again. I, first time I rebottled it, I bought, added more priming sugar to it to see if it would carbonate. And then the second yeah, time I bottled it, I added wine yeast. Yeah, so it didn't get a stick off. Oh, you pitched. 
I oh, pitched yeast in I here. pitched a whole batch of wine yeast in here. Oh, oh maybe that's what's. This beer is all fucked up. Yeah, it's got it all is. Kinds of Sometimes when you. It's cool though. But you know, it, that's why I, you know. You know, I homebrew Wednesday is not just for, you know, the beers Stellar you did really brew. well. Yeah. But I think we can. You always learn a little bit more from things see, that I would, don't come out perfect. You know. Yeah, but see, I would think that the wine yeast would start attacking the, the, the priming sugar, but. Yeah, but it didn't. Yeah, I I, I, I have beer. no reason why this will yeah. not carbonate. I've had weird beers like that. No. Yeah. Oh, you just not so I I do want to take this. Could be the bourbon in there too. It just whatever yeast gets introduced into this, it just attacks know. it and just beats it up. And, I don't know because it's definitely still pretty have sweet. To probably, I mean, you would have had to have kegged it and like force carbonated. Yeah, something. that's about the only thing I could do now to make it work. But well, interesting. So cool. That's Can't first time I try that. Just drink it. Exactly. <laughs> well, I've got a bunch more bottles. Of that. Oh, okay. I have I have like a whole batch of bottles of that. I think I've only used like eight or nine. You could. So, um, yeah, I don't know. You could, you could yeah. blend it with something else. Perhaps. Yeah. So, cheers, guys. Ooh, it's a little taste cheers. from our homebrew. Please, we want to start getting out and getting other people's homebrews on the show, um, and we want to start sharing some of the ones that we have with you guys. So, so if you, you want to do a beer us exchange, us yeah, AmericanBeerTV.net. Kenny at American Beer TV or Bill, Bill at yeah. American Beer TV. And, or uh, just send us a message on YouTube yeah, as YouTube. well. Yeah, um, let us know kind of what you're interested in, uh, what you got, um, where we should send it, that kind of stuff, because we want to start getting into more of the... Whoa, I'm splashing. Yeah, and we have other community. brews too. If you send us something, we'll send you something. Yeah, we, we like to get feedback on some of the stuff we're brewing too. So yeah, be so awesome. it'd be very cool. So hopefully uh, we'll hear from some of you guys and we'll do some beer exchanges. Awesome. So very cool. Awesome, guys.